the B. Government is open to a province-wide approach to regulating public drug use in public areas, rather than a patchwork of municipal bylaws. This comes as several cities in B. Have passed or are considering bylaws that ban the use of controlled substances in parks, streets, and other public places. The Premier says he wants to address the issue at a provincial level, with a focus on public health and safety. The province is currently experimenting with decriminalization of possession of small amounts of certain illicit drugs, as part of its response to the overdose crisis. The initiative aims to reduce the stigma and criminalization of drug users and connect them with services and supports. However, some mayors and residents have expressed concerns about the impact of open drug use on their communities, especially on children and families. The Premier says he has asked the Ministers of Public Safety and Mental Health and Addiction to work with local governments and prepare a proposal for a province-wide plan to regulate public drug use. He says the plan will be based on evidence and best practices, and will balance compassion with enforcement. He says he hopes to have the plan ready by early 2023. The Premier says he understands the frustration and fear that many people feel about public drug use, but he also urges them to be respectful and empathetic towards those who are struggling with addiction and mental health issues. He says the province is committed to expanding mental health and addiction services, as well as emergency response teams, to help people get the help they need. He says the province is also working on other measures to improve public safety, such as repeat violent offender response teams and virtual bail hearings. The province is also working on expanding emergency mental health response teams, repeat violent offender response teams and virtual bail hearings to address the public safety issues related to addiction and mental health. These initiatives are part of the province-wide plan to regulate and treat public drug use, which aims to reduce the harms of substance use and provide more support for people who need help. Emergency mental health response teams are specialized units that can respond to mental health crises in the community. They can provide assessment, intervention and referral services to people who are experiencing acute mental distress or suicidal thoughts. These teams can also connect people with appropriate treatment and recovery options, such as detox, counseling or medication. Repeat violent offender response teams are dedicated teams that can target and monitor individuals who are involved in repeated acts of violence or crime related to addiction and mental health. They can work with law enforcement, corrections and health authorities to ensure that these individuals receive appropriate supervision, support and treatment. These teams can also help prevent further victimization and harm to the public. Virtual bail hearings are online court proceedings that can expedite the process of granting or denying bail to people who are arrested for drug-related offenses. They can reduce the need for transporting and holding people in custody, which can pose health and safety risks for both the accused and the staff. They can also provide more access to legal representation and judicial oversight, which can ensure a fair and efficient justice system. These are some of the ways that the province is working on expanding its services and programs to address the public safety issues related to addiction and mental health. By doing so, the province hopes to improve the lives of people who use drugs, their families and their communities. The province is still in step three of its four-step restart plan, which means some restrictions on gatherings and events are still in place, and proof of vaccination is required for certain activities. These measures are aimed at preventing the spread of COVID-19 and its variants, as well as protecting the healthcare system and the most vulnerable populations. However, the Premier has also announced a province-wide approach to regulating public drug use, which has been a growing concern for many communities. The plan includes expanding emergency mental health response teams, creating repeat violent offender response teams, improving information sharing between police and prosecutors, and supporting indigenous justice centers and asset seizures. The Premier said that being compassionate and taking action on mental health and addiction issues does not mean accepting repeated criminal behavior or violence. He said the province will work with local governments and stakeholders to address this complex challenge in a holistic and effective way.